Hi, it's Kerry. Lots of amazing wild animals today and a fun ending. Give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. Please subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Can you tell me how many snakes in today's video and what type of snakes they are? There's a phoenix in today's video. It's not a wild animal, but it's just very new to me and I couldn't resist adding it to the video for color. The phoenix is a fictional bird from ancient Greek legends. The cheetah. Cheetahs are easily identified by their sleek body and unique black spots on gold or yellow coats. They are known for their amazing speed of up to 64 miles per hour or 103 kilometers per hour in brief spurts. The cheetah's spotted fur helps camouflage it in the grass so that it can ambush prey. I really love the face here with those black lines going down to the mouth. Mandrill female and her baby. Mandrills are the largest of all monkeys. They are shy and reclusive primates that are found in the rainforests of equatorial Africa. Mandrills are extremely colourful with blue and red skin on their faces and their brightly coloured bottoms. These distinctive colours become brighter when the animal is excited. They have very long canine teeth that can be used for self-defense. The little mandrels first cling to their mum's bellies and then ride on their backs as they grow older. The ring-tailed lemur is only found in Madagascar. They are easy to recognize from their tail. They can climb quite well, but prefer to spend a third of their time on the forest floor foraging for food. I love that big tail and the eyes there. Such a beautiful animal. This is the female ring-tailed lemur and her pup. Look at the way he's hanging on to her neck. That's really nice. They eat leaves, flowers, bark, sap and small invertebrates. When the lemurs are moving around looking for food, they keep their tails up in the air to ensure safety and to keep them in their group. Another ring-tailed lemur and her baby. Lemurs mark their territory by scent. During the mating season, male lemurs battle for dominance by trying to outstink each other. They cover their long tails with smelly secretions and wave them in the air to determine which animal is more powerful. Indian pangolin is an odd looking animal that belongs to the group of anteaters with scales. The male pangolin is much larger than the female pangolin. The pangolin's body is covered with hard brown scales except for the forehead, belly and the inner sides of the legs. And here's my other Indian pangolin. Pangolins have five toes on each foot. The middle three digits are well developed. They have very sharp claws, which serve as a perfect tool for digging. Their front legs are shorter than the hind legs, so you can see the difference there. Pangolins have a prehensile tail, which provides balance and hold while hanging from the branches of the trees. Mandrill male. Mandrills live in troops 
which are headed by a dominant male and include a dozen or more females and young. They use their long arms to forage on the ground for fruits, roots and animals such as insects, reptiles and amphibians. Their cheeks have built-in pouches that are used to store snakes for later consumption. Although mandrels spend much of their time on the ground, they can climb trees and do so to sleep, mainly for safety. The King Cheetah. I really like this. This unusual looking cheetah is also known as Cooper's Cheetah. It is an African cheetah with a rare fur pattern mutation. A recessive gene must be inherited from both parents in order for this blotchy pattern to appear. Monarch butterfly is also known as the milkweed butterfly because larvae eat the plant. By planting milkweed in your garden you will attract the monarch butterfly. The adult females lay her eggs on the underside of the leaves where they hatch. After two weeks they develop into caterpillars then transform into a pupa or chrysalis and then after two weeks the monarch butterfly emerges. The Red Swallowtail Butterfly These large butterflies get their name from the swallow bird because they have similar looking tails coming off their hind wings. Most swallowtail butterflies are found in tropical climates. The Blue Morpho Butterfly They are one of the largest in the world with a wingspan of up to 20 centimetres. They drink the juices from rotting fruit by unrolling their long proboscis and sucking it up like a straw. Blue Morpho butterflies live in large groups and can be found in the rainforests of South America, Central America and Mexico. The Hedgehogs and Hoglets Hedgehogs are nocturnal animals that sleep during the day in a nest or under bushes and feed at night. The spines of a hedgehog are stiff hollow hairs. They can have about 5,000 to 6,500 spines at any one time. Most hedgehog species will roll into a tight ball if threatened, making it hard for its attacker to get past its spiky defences. Lion cubs. At birth they weigh about one and a half kilograms. They have their eyes open up for about three to eleven days. Weaning starts at ten weeks and is finished by about ten months of age. Cubs start to eat meat around three months of age. Hunting skills are achieved at two years of age. The cubs are fully grown by three to four years. This is my new phoenix. It's not a wild animal but I like it so much. I put it in and I love the colours. The phoenix is a fictional bird from ancient Greek legends. The story goes that the bird lives for several hundred years before it dies by setting itself on fire. However, it then starts a new life from the ashes of the fire. There is a phoenix in the Harry Potter series. The phoenix was said to be as big as an eagle and it had scarlet and gold feathers. It has been featured in lots of paintings and stories throughout history. The boa constrictor. They are one of the largest snakes in the world along with a reticulated python and anaconda. I really like this snake because of its colours.
This is my other boa constrictor. Boas are non-poisonous but just as deadly. They ambush their prey, which means that they will hide and wait for something tasty to go by and then do a surprise attack. I love this sprinting cheetah. The cheetah is well built for speed with its finely tuned, powerful sleek body. They like to hunt at dawn and dusk by stalking, catching and killing their prey by knocking it over and then suffocating their prey with pressure on their throat. The cheetah's main diet includes smaller birds such as hares, warthogs, young wildebeest, gazelles and birds. They are able to outrun their prey on the open grasslands. The young females stay within the prey all their lives but the male lions either leave of their own accord or are driven off by the pride males at two to three years of age. They will then start their own pride. This is such a little cutie with his paw up in the air. my frill necked lizard group. I'm going to pick up all three to save a bit of time. I really like them all and they're so different to each other. Their colours sometimes depend on their surroundings so they can camouflage. I'll fix those lines up in a minute. The frill neck lizard is a reptile that belongs to the dragon family. The frill of skin around the neck is usually folded. The lizard exposes its neck frill when it is endangered or during courtship or to eliminate excess heat. The frill has a 12 inch or 30 centimeter diameter. Flexible spines that are connected with bones in the jaws keep the frill in place. It sounds like an umbrella. The frilled neck lizard can reach three feet or 90 centimeters in length. Males are larger than females. The colour of the body depends on the habitat. These lizards are able to change the colour to blend with the environment. The frilled neck lizard lives in tropical parts of North Australia and South New Guinea. They live in temperate forests and savannah woodlands. Most frilled neck lizards are brown to reddish in colour. They are active during the day and bask in the sun in the morning and early afternoon. The frill neck lizard is an ambush predator and waits patiently and then surprise attacks its victim. Their diet consists of ants, spiders, small lizards, termites and small mammals. It spends most of its time on the trees. When it's faced with danger, it will elevate its forelegs to appear bigger unfold or extend its frill, open its yellow mouth and start to hiss. If this fails, the lizard runs up the tree. The frilled neck lizard can run upright using only hind legs, which is bipedal locomotion. Main predators are larger lizards, birds of prey, dingoes and cats. The ladybug or ladybird. It's a type of beetle. 
They are usually red with spots. They are very helpful to a garden as they eat the aphids and mites, which are bugs that are harmful to plants. They have two sets of wings. The outer set is the hard shell for protection and the inner set are what are used to fly. Cheetah cub. Again, it's much like the lion cub. Such a beautiful little animal. I think it's looking for its mother. This is Rafiki, the wise old mandrel. He's like a tribal medicine man or an ancient shaman. Rafiki travels his own road, sings his own songs, and does his own thing. After anointing newborn Simba, Rafiki wanders off on his own mystical way. He returns again to guide Simba back to the path he was meant to follow. The Lion Family. This is really nice. You've got the father, the mother, and the baby there. You can see their tails. Oh look and there's a little cub there underneath, how cute is that? Lions are very social animals and live in groups called prides of about 10 to 15 animals. The size of the pride is determined by the availability of food and water. The Asian Elephant Female The Asian Elephant is slightly smaller than the African elephant and has smaller rounded ears. Elephants flap their ears to keep cool and are fond of water and enjoy sucking water into their trunks and spraying it all over themselves. Asian elephant male or bull. An elephant's trunk is actually a long nose with many functions. It is used for smelling, breathing, trumpeting, drinking and also for grabbing things. Asian elephants have a finger-like feature on the end of their trunk that they can use to grab small items, almost like having little fingers. Elephants are herbivores and use their tusks to dig for roots and water they strip bark from trees and can even fight each other. This is an Indian elephant calf. The Indian elephant is a subspecies of the Asian elephant. Elephants have been domesticated for thousands of years. The powerful beasts have been employed to move heavy objects such as trees, or to carry humans on their backs and even used in war. This is Kian from the Lion Guard. I really like his cheeky face. He's standing with a tall neck and his head held high, representing his position as leader of the Lion Guard. This is the young Simba as a cub. Simba is a rowdy, independent little cub who likes to romp and play. When his father dies, it leaves Simba unsure about who he is. Then Rafiki shows Simba his reflection in a pool and the young lion understands that his father's courage and wisdom are part of him too. This is the full grown adult and father Simba. He's matured to a new level and is now devoted to his duties as a king and a father, although rather overprotective of his daughter Kiara. Simba becomes a great leader, courageous and wise, and more willing to give others a second chance.
planets. Female lions hunt in teams using a semicircle formation, herding the prey towards the centre to make the kill. The male lions guard the territory and protect the pride. A lioness gives birth to two to three cubs at a time. If a couple of lionesses give birth around the same time, they mind each other's cubs. Another lioness. The lion's teeth are well adapted for killing their prey and eating it. The great canine teeth are spaced such that they can slip between the cervical vertebrae of their favourite sized prey and sever the spinal cord. The shape of the back teeth, which are called carna cells instead of molars, make them work like a pair of scissors for cutting pieces of meat. The jaw is not capable of moving side to side like ours. The male lion. You can tell it's a male by the big shaggy mane on it. A lion's tongue is covered with rough spines called papillae. This helps the lion scrape meat off the bones and acts like a comb for grooming. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Remember to stay for the fun ending and to tell me how many snakes and what type of snakes they are in today's video. Thank you. To subscribe, click on the colourful super fun reviews button. To watch any of the videos you like, just click on the one you want. Thanks once again and please do subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.